Hey everybody, what's up? Neil Walter here for the Guitar Tricks ch -ch 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 channel. Coming at you with some new goodies. Remember, if you're not watching this on guitartricks.com, you could be missing out on a free lesson every weekend. You are. Go to guitartricks.com forward slash channel, sign up for the newsletter. We'll send you two, two, two free lessons in your inbox every week. Tip of the week, and then on to our lesson. First off, the tip of the week is getting creative with your pinch harmonics. I like to call it a pinch harmonic chord scrape, and it goes something like this. Basically what you do is you take a pinch harmonic, and you just keep that same action as you scrape all the way down a string on a chord. And you'll pick up all these harmonics on the way down. It's a cool way to add a little flavor if you're soloing or just thinking of something fresh to throw in the middle of a rhythm. On to our lesson of the week. That's right, it is using half step bends to create more emotion in your soloing. We've had a lot of requests on how do I get emotion in my soloing, and it's really hard to define because emotion is kind of sometimes you feel something and it just comes out. But I'll give you a couple tips here with half step bends where you can kind of create that vibe. Um, and so what we're going to use is a half step band and I'll show you specific places within uh, the, a basic pentatonic scale where they sound, I think they sound really good. Here's a couple examples of how I might use a half step band to create an emotional feeling in a solo. <laughs> So I'm going to show you a couple spots that really work well for me. Thinking of the A pentatonic scale and uh, focusing on the B string right here. This note, it's just below the seventh. If you bend up to the seventh, it really evokes an emotion with that tone right there. So ways that you can incorporate that into a lead line would be, for example, a hammer-on from the 5th fret to the, to the 8th fret on the B string, and then a bend up to that note from the 7th fret of the B string. So you've got this, followed by that. Now I'm doing a pull-off between here and here. So it's something you could do with just one pick strike with the right hand and the rest is done by the left hand. So that's one way to do it. Another way you could do is uh, a little trill slide down from these two notes, the A and the G. So it's a little hammer on pull off real quick, slide down and then that bend up back to the note. So there's another good spot you could use it, bending with that same note. Um, I like to use it also where the blues note is, the flat fifth, for example. That gives you a couple opportunities for a half step bend, for example this one. Also this one. That's a real classic bluesy sound. So using the same pattern uh, we used on the B string, you can do that here where you hammer on, pull off and bend up that half step like this. You could also do the trill, and this time we aren't sliding down because we've got three notes to play with right here. Or you could do a slide down to the C note. like that. Here's another one matching this one up here. Just take that down an octave and you've got this. And notice if you just do
really evokes an um, um, emotional response there. So you can also do um, take this down an octave, this one. Take it down here. Or bring it up an, up an octave as well. Great stuff right there, and it's so easy, and it's probably in a pattern that you're already familiar with. A little extra way to take what you already know and squeeze more out of it. That's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Free tabs to all these lessons are available at guitartricks.com forward slash channel. Sign up for that newsletter. We'll give you two free lessons every week. Catch us on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you right back here on the Ch -ch 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 channel. Later, Gator!